Welcome, I'm John Holstrom, the Engineering Projects Manager at Valmatic Valve, and this is the Valmatic Research and Development Laboratory. During this video presentation, we will be demonstrating the use of the Valmatic ball valve in a pump control system application. Pump control systems are commonly used on water pipelines and force mains where surge control is important. We have assembled a working system in our laboratory to demonstrate the elements of the pump control system in operation. Today we have configured the flow loop to pump water from a 40 horsepower centrifugal pump through a six inch cylinder actuated ball valve through a long line of piping and back to a 1,000 gallon water supply tank. The pump is started and stopped using a conventional full voltage motor starter connected to a remote control panel with start and stop push buttons. As we will see, the pump controls are integrated with the ball valve so that they work together to control the flow of fluid. Mounted on the pipeline next to the pump is a pressure switch, which provides a permissive signal to the control system, indicating that the pump has started and developed sufficient pressure. Ball valves are used for pump discharge service because they have extremely low open head loss, which saves energy. Ball valves also have an equal percentage flow characteristic when closing, which aids in surge control. Ball valves are quarter turn valves and can be operated with motor actuators or cylinder actuators. Motor actuators, although appearing simpler and more compact, have a fixed speed of operation and require either a second check valve or an additional battery backup system to operate after an electric power failure. Cylinder actuators may operate without electric power and their speed of operation is field adjustable. This valve is equipped with a Valmatic cylinder actuator featuring externally adjustable stops and a stainless steel cylinder which has O-ring head seals for zero leakage and piston wear rings for long life. The stainless steel cylinder is designed to AWWA standard C541 requirements for compressed air, hydraulic oil, or water service. Valmatic cylinder actuators are designed with characterized closure that's slow as they approach the seated position, which aids in surge control. Mounted on the cover of the valve actuator is a combination position indicator and limit switch assembly, which provides both a visual display and electric signals of valve open, mid-stroke, or closed position. The heart of the pump control system is the hydraulic control panel. It controls the operation of the cylinder and the ball valve in turn by delivering pressurized air, oil, or water to either of the cylinder ports through these hoses. This panel gets its supply pressure, right now 120 PSI, from the air oil accumulator system behind me. We have a separate video presentation explaining the operation of these air oil accumulator systems. Oil is a dependable, consistent, and clean supply media for cylinder actuators. Inside the hydraulic panel is a four-way directional control solenoid valve that directs oil to the actuator to open or close the ball valve. These vernier flow control valves are used to independently control the opening and closing speeds of the ball valve. The pump control ball valves are typically field adjusted to operate between 60 and 300 seconds for the normal opening or closing operations. In addition, these two two-way solenoid valves open only on loss of electric power to rapidly close the ball valve in approximately 10 to 30 seconds based on the setting of the adjustable lever-operated valve. This fast closure protects the water pump against the effects of reverse flow and a pressure transient after a power failure. Normally, the two-way valves are powered and held closed by the same electric power source servicing the pump. The ball valve is opened and closed by energizing or de-energizing the four-way solenoid valve. The four-way is also equipped with a manual override feature for startup and adjustment of the system. 
As you can see, when the lever is rotated clockwise, it actuates the four-way and the oil is delivered to the cylinder, which opens the ball valve. Returning the lever to the counterclockwise position, the four-way closes the ball valve. Note that this should not be done when the pump control ball valve is isolating system pressure as reverse flow through the pump may occur. The general pump start sequence is as follows. The pump is started by pressing the start button. The pump builds pressure against the closed ball valve until the pressure switch is tripped. The pressure switch signal permits the four-way solenoid valve to be energized and the ball valve opens at the rate set by the flow control valve. Normally the pump runs for many hours to meet system demands. The shutdown sequence consists of pressing the stop button, which de-energizes the four-way solenoid valve, closing the ball valve at the rate set by the slow closed flow control valve. The pump runs until the ball valve is closed and the valve's limit switch is tripped. It is important to note that the pump continues to run during all or most of the ball valve closure operation. Since the valve's equal percentage flow characteristic and the actuator's characterized closure, and the hydraulic panel has controlled and changed the fluid velocity in the pipeline very slowly, pressure surges are prevented or minimized to acceptable levels. The electrical controls and sequencing needed to make this system operate are often supplied with the pump motor control panel. Valmatic offers an optional pump control panel that includes a system monitor indicator. The system safely shuts down the pump and locks it out if a problem is detected. You can see on the front of the panel that the pump run light is displayed along with an open and a closed indicator light. The panel monitors the pressure switch and the valve limit switch operations. If the pump fails to build pressure or the valve fails to open in a preset time period, the red stop light lights and the pump is locked out until the problem is corrected and the reset button is pressed. In addition, there is a red mushroom head emergency stop button that shuts down the system. Inside you can see the control relays and the system monitor timer, which is adjustable between 10 and 300 seconds for the alarm circuit. We can demonstrate the operation of the alarm circuit by turning off the oil supply pressure to the hydraulic panel. We start the pump and it builds pressure, but the ball valve fails to open. After 10 seconds, the system automatically shows the alarm and shuts off the pump. We have seen the operation of the ball valve pump control system, which not only offers system surge protection, but also provides significant energy savings. Thank you for your interest in Valmatic products.